this test is being conducted under the FAR 25.853A. The FAR 25.853A is a vertical Bunsen burner test designed by the Federal Aviation Administration for cabin and car cargo compartment materials. The test method is intended for use in determining the resistance of materials to flame when tested in accordance with the 60 second and 12 second burn. The 12 second burn is known as the 25.853B. After a given period of time, has elapsed, the burner is removed and the specimen is observed for ignition time, flame time, drip flame, and burn length are recorded at the end of the test. The following are descriptions of things recorded during the test. In this test, the specimen is held in a vertical position by a device ordinarily in a cabinet and a Bunsen burner is applied. The Bunsen burner is set with a flame length of 31.8 millimeters, or an inch and a half, and the temperature of the Bunsen burner flame is 1500 degrees. This test specimen is 3 8 inch exterior plywood. Ordinarily, aircraft plywood is used for aircraft interiors. The difference between aircraft plywood and the plywood that we are using here today is the density. Aircraft plywood does not have voids, but in some instances the purpose of this particular plywood can be used such as on floors in cargo compartments. During the test specimen, the ignition time which is the length of time the burner flame is applied to the specimen. The specimen will be three quarters of an inch above the top edge of the burner. And the flame will be three quarters of an inch applied to the top of the burner. In other words, one and a half inches from the top of the burner to the top of the flame where the specimen will actually be engulfed in the first three quarters of an inch into the flame. The flame time is the time in seconds that the specimen continues to burn after the burner flame is removed. The time allowed for that is a maximum of 15 seconds. Anything over 15 seconds would be deemed that the specimen failed to test. The drip flame time, that's the time in seconds that any flaming material continues to flame after falling from the specimens if that does occur. The maximum average drip extinguishing time is three seconds. After the burner is removed from the specimen, the burn length is measured. The distance from the original specimen edge to the farthest evidence of damage to the specimen is measured. 
anything greater than six inches, the specimen would be deemed to have failed the FAR 25.8538 test. At this time, I'm going to place the Bunsen burner directly underneath the test specimen. When it's safe, fire retardants, whether it is its coatings or its building material, such as plywood, OSB, various species of lumber, or even eye joists, have recorded the lowest flame spread in the industry. As I mentioned earlier, this test is usually conducted for a period of one minute. However, we are going to extend the test to two minutes. At which time we will remove the Bunsen burner from the, below the test specimen and measure the char length. It's important to take note that there was no after flame. Even though the standard allows for 15 seconds. There was absolutely no drip extinguishing. In other words, there was no drip at all from any portion of the test specimen. For more information on FlameSafe or FlameSafe's product, please call 1-800-333-9197 or go to our website flame-safe.com Click on products and you get a complete list of our products including all the test reports that we publish online. FlameSafe's products have been tested by Underwriters Laboratories, Southwest Research Institute, Intertech Testing, Diversified Testing, Maxim Laboratories, Southwestern Laboratories, and many more. At this time, I'm going to remove the specimen and measure the char length. It's important to take note that the char length 
is slightly less than two inches, far below what the standard calls for. Remember, contact FlameSafe, 1-800-333-9197.